How's it going guys? Roland Rossi back at you again with another video. This one's just going to be a short video on different styles and techniques and where to use them, how to use them, applications such as rocky bottom, sand bottom, biomatter bottom, real muddy bottom, heavy current, just any of the applications you're going to find in a lake, stream, or pond. Now the first one I want to show you is a Texas rig. Now a Texas rig is perfect for working suspended near the bottom, on the bottom, or just right around the top. Now a Texas rig combines with a bullet weight and a wide out hook for fairly sizes depending on the bait and depending on the bullet weight on the depth. Now this bait I've used in the past, it was on fishing in Old Lake, which I got two off of this and one off a of white terminator frog. Now this I have paired with it is a Mike Iaconelli Devil Spear in bluegrass. Really great bait for working heavy cover. It's really slim. It can go into rocks real nicely. It swims really nicely, especially with this tail being grooved like that. It actually looks like a little shad in the water. Now this definitely can work in all ranges of like current, uh, deep water, shallow water especially for the how slim it is and just how many applications you can use it for. Now another one is a split shot rig. This is a great finesse rig. It's perfect for fishing deep bottom, um, fishing current, especially because this fluke right here will stay upright, especially in the current, and especially when you're fishing it, it'll just jig around. It'll just go like this. Now it's perfect for small mouth, large mouth, it's a great way to work near the bottom and not on the bottom. So you're right off the bottom where sometimes the fish are in certain zones where they're only going to hit something that's near their zone. They're not going to go looking for it. They're not coming up to the top. They're just in that one zone. This is a perfect bait for that. It's just depending on the depth, you want to use it on a certain application. This is about a half a foot to a foot. It's perfect for where I'm fishing in about five feet of water to four feet of water and it gets it right at that mid depth zone. It's a perfect perfect technique for just finesse basically and just working fidgety fish on a cold day, a hot summer day and it can be used in ranges of just a range of places, real rocky bottoms because you can see as the weight it's like a pencil basically. It's not going to get caught up in the stuff. It's going to just slip right in and come right out. It's not going to be nothing too dramatic. It's going to be a simple bait and it's going to trigger those bass to hit because it's an opportunity bait. Well, opportunity style. Now, this here I've used in my last videos, fishing the mats again. And it is just a weedless jig I make myself with a Nets bait crawl. My favorite crawls by far, Nets baits and Excite baits. Now these crawls are perfect for trailers, which I actually have the trailer versions, and the perfect crawls for trailers. Now, for their small size, as you can see, they fit perfectly on a jig. Now, this means a slimmer size, a slimmer presentation, especially with the jig, you don't want too big. But depending on the application, you do want a bigger a bigger trailer to match with your jig depending on the weight, depending on how small it is, depending on how thick the skirts are and depending on how short the skirts are. Now this is just one style of jig. This is just for fishing weeds and heavy cover. Not really a, any of like a structure like sticks, piles of wood or a branch. That's not for this. This is mainly for what I was using it in the last video fishing the mats again is a perfect application for that. There's all ranges of trailers for these. You just have to find the one that you find fish want more in the area you're fishing. Now the next style is a wobble head football. It's a perfect bait for fishing the bottom, especially spring coming around and the spawning is going to start happening really soon. Now while the spawning is happening, you're going to probably want some that gets in their bed fast and will stay in the bed. The longer you can stay in the bed, the better. Now this bait will easily just flutter across the bottom because as you can see, the head wobbles, which is perfect for your bait going back and forth, back and forth. And they're gonna look at that as maybe a bluegill trying to get their eggs or just some fish that is not wanted in their bed and they will strike it. 
I've had plenty of strikes on them. I've caught plenty of fish on them. I caught them on the last video with this exact one. This is my handmade one. This is in 7 16 Depending on the depth and depending on how big your weight is, how big your bait is, you're going to definitely want to change up the hook size, which is this 4 rod. And this is 7 16 weight, which I use for heavier applications and fishing deeper water. Now, another style. It's basically the same thing. It's another football head, but it's more like a spot remover. In a way, you're going to be dragging it across the bottom, or you're going to be just bouncing it on the bottom. It's a real finesse style. Um, just any kind of like Senkos, Robo Worms, um, just a finesse kind of bait you would use in any other predicament, any other like waters, especially ponds that kill in, um, big lakes, fishing edges, or fishing rocky bottom. Perfect for sand bottom too, because you can just drag it along. Now, there's one more I want to show you. And it's just, I want to show you some baits. And some really good baits for the applications right there, and just for in general. Now, as you've seen, it's a Mike Iaconelli Double Spare, which is great for the Texas rig, and it's great for working cover, because it's really slim, it looks like a bait fish when it's swimming, and it drops down really nicely. Now, for creature bait applications, I love going for the Gambler Ugly Otter. Now, this is a great bait, especially, especially when it rains. And when it rains, a lot of bugs and just things right next to the shore that were just sitting there and just waiting for small opportunities, it's perfect. Now, this one right here, I kind of did my own modifications to it. I split where the, uh, where the crawls are, where the claws are. And it makes a little bit more action in the water. This is perfect for rainy weather, perfect for salt, not uh, salt, perfect for summer. And it's all around good bait. It's I've caught plenty of fish on it. And just good for the applications right there. It's more for the Tetsix rig, it's more for the football head. It's a great bait. And you should actually probably try it because I've caught tons of fish off of it. And let's go to the next one, which is another gambler. It's a, a burn crawl and black chrome tip. Now, my previous video, Fishing the Maps Again, I actually used this, but I modified it a little. I cut it down to about right there, and I took off these little arms. I made it a little bit slimmer, a little smaller for the application, and it worked perfect. I got two four pounders and it did great. It went through the grass really nicely because it was real slim presentation on the claws and it made just enough vibration so on the fish's lateral line they can feel it, especially if they're looking away from it. And when they're looking at it, because I was fishing some pretty murky water, as you can see as the underwater footage was a little murky looking. Now with these bright arm, bright claws, you can easily see it and the bass will get triggered by that easily triggered and they will definitely go after it depending if they are willing to feed and right now they're early bedding so it's a perfect bait to use it actually almost looks like a shad in water which they are chasing now I showed you the fluke on the split shot rig now I'm going to show you some other flukes that are perfect for actually fishing the Texas rig but weightless this is just one of the boxes of my flukes, I bring every time with me. I don't care where I go, I have to have my flukes with me. It just, it's a necessity, especially when you're fishing ponds, it's absolute necessity. Now, one color that was on that is perfect. It's an Arkansas Shad color. This is a Tiki. It's a brand like Tiki something. And this one is a pumpkin seed. I've used this previously on Spring Lake. I caught a few with. It's a great bait. It's almost like the ones I make myself because it doesn't have the split tail. And basically, it, use it on weightless is a great way to trigger bass that are chasing dying shad, dying shiner, because they look like them when they're fluttering to the bottom. Now, that's about all I have to say. That's just a few different styles. I don't want to go too into it because I can go on a lot more videos and go even deeper in depth with all of them. Now, 
there will be pre there will be more videos just like this, but it's gonna go just like I said more in depth of it. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you next time with me, Roland Rossi. Thanks, guys.